What's up, YouTube? Sean the Average Angler here, and it is Friday. Yes, it is Friday. And it is also the second day of the Elite Series on Lake Fork, and oh my God, are they having a time out there. Incredible weights, incredible catches. Some guys are having a tough time here and there, but... I see some guys figuring some things out. And I want to say it now. That if nobody else figures out what Matty Wong is on right now, he very well could win this tournament. Uh, Matty Wong has figured out that there's a glide bait bite. And I'm really surprised because Ben Milliken, it, it's kind of his thing. Uh, but he himself had said recently at one of the tournaments, it's not that time of year for that. Well, Matty Wong should have had over 40 pounds today. Could have had over 40 pounds today. I don't want to say should have because landing the fish is part of the gig. Anyway, so we're going to talk about some swim baits that you can add to your arsenal that you don't need specific rods for okay all of these swim baits we can all throw and and these are going to cover a, a pretty good gamut of where to throw them and how to throw them that kind of stuff some of them even flipping okay um one of them is kind of different well all right look there's, there's quite a few different ones here. And stay tuned till the end because that is a key bait. Been around a long time. I think people forgot about it. Some people never knew about it. Some people have slept on it. Uh, and I already know it works all the way across the country. An old friend of mine qualified for the Bass Nation one year, went back east, and he should have won the event. Uh, he didn't have enough of the baits. And... Um, yeah, ran out of them. Anyway, so let's cover this. And first of all, let's get this out of the way. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. The mountains are blue. Means it's cold. It's Friday. And we're tipping it back. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. We're getting closer to 1,000. We will do a giveaway when we get to 1,000. I haven't decided what yet, but trust me, it's going to be worth your while. It, it could very well even be a Daiwa Tatula CT reel um, that I bought a little while back. If you watch my, is this the best reel for the money under a hundred bucks? Um, I still have one that I haven't opened, so I may give that away. Okay. All right. So first and foremost, and this is actually the most expensive swim bait I have here. Okay. Uh, most of these are, are pretty darn reasonable. This is a Baca burrito and they're about 40 bucks and they are readily available. Okay. The nice thing about the burrito, and this is going to be you can fish it through the water column, but the nice thing is it, it's silicone. So it's very tough and you're liable to lose it due to your own fault, snagging it, whatever, breaking it off more than you would wearing the bait out. But this thing kicks really hard. You can fish it up in the water column. You can fish it in the middle column. You can fish it on the bottom. It's really endless. Um, that is the five inch. Okay, they have a five and a six inch. They're 35 to 40 bucks. These are phenomenal, folks. And even if you only want one and don't know which color to get, get the tactical shad, which actually I think that is. Okay, great bait. Um, if they don't come with this clamshell, you can buy the clamshell 
off the Buka site. Um, if you buy the baits off the Buka site, it will come on the clamshell. Uh, I bought some at another place. They weren't in a clamshell. So anyway, if you get one, see if you can make sure it comes in the clamshell because that's just how you store the bait, right? It keeps its shape that way. Um, doesn't damage it. And that's the thing with a lot of clamshell packs. And it doesn't matter if it's a worm, if it's a craw, if it's a swim bait. If it comes in a clamshell pack, keep it in the clamshell pack, okay? All right, the next one is a mag... Can you talk? Mega Bass Mag Draft, and this is the Freestyle. Okay, we all know about the Mag Draft, but this is a Freestyle. And the reason I'm, I'm picking the Freestyle is Zaldane's caught a few fish on the Zaldandrus. I haven't seen one, nor will I buy one. Uh, because I, I think it's a knock, I think it's a straight knockoff of this bait. Um, they changed it to where they call it a line through and a top hook, or not a top hook, it's a single hook, which is what the freestyle is, right? Uh, very universal bait, you can fish it anywhere in the water column you want. Based on the hook weight that you put on it, you rig these on a beast hook. Now, what I like about these being weedless, you can throw them anywhere. You can throw them places people don't throw swim baits. And I will encourage you to do that. If you got tulies, wood, any of that kind of stuff, throw it there. Again, keep the clamshell, folks, so you can put it back in the pack and that tail is messed up there. We'll fix that so it doesn't end up that way. Um, oh, I see. I put the bait in upside down. Sucks getting old. Sometimes you make stupid mistakes. All right, there we go. Anyway, that's a great one. These are not expensive. $14.99 for two of them. They're not as durable as a silicone, but nonetheless, they're pretty durable. Uh, with a line through single hook, you're not gonna, or I'm sorry, a beast hook. You can use them for multiple fish. All right, next one. This is from a local builder called Shasta Baits. If you look in the eye, SBB. Shasta Bates, okay? It's a line through. There's a weight in it up here. He makes some great colors. This one needs to be boiled. This is what happens when you don't keep them in a clamshell. All right, this one's just been laying in the box. It's got a little messed up tail. Nothing some boiled water won't fix, but these are phenomenal. Part two here. My boss just called, so I had to take the call. Anyway, that's Shasta Baits. They make some really, really good colors, especially for clear water stuff. Spotted bass, Shasta is a spotted bass fishery that has large mouth. These are phenomenal. Check them out. If you like throwing line through swim baits, fish spotted bass fisheries, these are great, okay? Um, and I have another one. Yeah, there you go. Shasta Bass Baits, there you go. So here's another one here. Very transparent colors because those are typically clear water fisheries. All right, this one is a little less known perhaps. And you will see they have a boot tail, but it's a line through boot tail. This is called Shiner. This is some sort of shad. These swim really well, okay? And this is from another small bait maker called Smash Tech. Smash Tech Custom Baits. Let's see, this one, uh, this one's also a shad, different shad than the other one. I think that one might be trout, shiner, and then this is a shad. 
These swim really well. You can see there's a hook with a swivel in, or a split ring in there. And the great thing about these is they can be fished on, say, like a 7.3, 7.4, medium heavy. So your jig rod can double over for the smash tech, for the Shasta baits, for the freestyle by Magdraft. And all of these baits are under 15 bucks, okay? Except for the, the burrito. Again, that's silicone, more expensive, much more durable. Now, this next one is the one that I really wanted to point out because these are kind of forgotten baits. Um, they used to be really, really popular. They're still available. There's people still out there using them. And this is kind of the original line through. And this is a mission fish. And you can see the hook there, the gaff, okay? It's just, it's a line through. You can use whatever hook you want. The nice thing about the mission fish, all the weights up here in the front, you can fish these throughout the water column. I prefer bottom, but the great thing about the mission fish is you can flip them. You can flip them alongside tulies. They don't come in the wide array of colors, I don't think. I haven't bought them in a long time because I actually had so many, but here you'll see a couple different colors. It's really hard to see on the camera and different sizes, right? That's about an inch smaller. And then they have this one. Same bait, okay? But it's got a curl tail. This is the one my friend took back east and, and fished on, God, I can't even remember the lake. It was so long ago. But this can be flipped, and it's got the curl tail. So a little different action. And you'll see, I just, I keep these in a Ziploc bag. I've had them for a long time. This is what I have left. I Actually, I still have probably 30 or 40 of them in new packaging uh, in my garage. Uh, phenomenal bait very easy to fish again seven three seven four medium heavy rod all you really need um i will caution to use a a, a, a split ring on the hook um, because back in the day my fishing partner kevin lost several fish over 10 pounds on these because the line slip slipped out on the hooks that came with it, I believe uh, they weren't they weren't soldered, so they had a gap, and the line slipped out. Uh, unfortunately, it was in tournaments. Kevin lost those fish, but they're phenomenal baits. Okay, so either check your hook, preferably just use a split ring. Okay, that resolves the issue, <clears throat> and uh, they're really easy to fish. You can't go wrong with them. Cast them out. Let them go to the bottom or retrieve them back in and, you know, mess around with it. Uh, in the springtime, you can flip them in tulies, in pockets, in grass, that kind of stuff. Um, it, it's a fish that spawning or it's a bait that spawning fish have not seen a lot of. So check them out. Give them a chance. If you want to try some swim baits, don't want to buy special gear, these are all really good for that. The... Burrito, I'd probably throw on a flipping stick with maybe 20 pound test because I personally, although you can fish it throughout the water column, most of the time I'm gonna use that one on the bottom. Uh, and if not, I'm still gonna throw it on a flipping stick with 20 pound test. Um, 
because there's no reason not to, okay? It's a heavy enough bait that you can do that and uh, you're not gonna kill the action on it. So thanks for watching, Sean the Average Angler. Like, subscribe, come back and see us again. We really appreciate it. Cheers, have a good weekend.